welcome, this is Ruth and I have another video for Tonic today and it's another one of their birthday week launches, birthday week 2023 and this one is called the beautiful beveled star box. You can see here that you'll obviously be able to use lots of these decorative pieces for ornaments, for all sorts of things as well as a little box and you could use this on a card as well. So there's foliage and then there's the star and then there's detailed stars as well. There's a couple of little pieces here that you could add on. This is a little hanger part. These are the sides of the box. These are the sides of the lid. And I've had a little head start with this one because I have already made some things with it for a magazine commission, a practical publishing magazine commission that will be coming out in August. So later on, I, I can't actually show you the stuff that I've made for that because obviously the magazine's not out yet. But So if you haven't subscribed, now would be a good time if you'd like to and hit the notification bell and whenever you've had a little look at it don't forget to give me a little thumbs up and a comment if you've enjoyed it but in the meantime I'm going to go and uh, get out some stuff I have been advised there are some lovely bundles that are being uh, used with these now obviously you can use whatever you like with it but I've got one of the bundles that will be available um, in birthday week and it's really really beautiful it's called Minty Christmas and I'm just going to show it to you here and then I'm going to use this. So this is a mirror card, pink chiffon. It's really, really beautiful. That reminds me of, I um, don't know if I can actually even say it. Yeah, Turkish Delight, isn't that really gorgeous? Shiny and beautiful pink. And then we've got frosted silver. So that's another satin effect mirror card. That's a kind of a, well, it's really, it's a kind of a color that you're going to use with lots and lots of different things. This one here then is emerald green high gloss mirror card. Oh, there's me. <laughs> and that's a really beautiful colour as well. So we've got chrome silver high gloss mirror, water sprite iridescent mirror card. So that one's got all sorts of things going on in it there. And it's a real beautiful foil to that one. And then we've also got some fuchsia pink texture weave card. So that one is 216 GSM. And then to go along with that, we've got some gilding flakes. These are called Silver Bullion and don't forget if you open those, <laughs> have a bigger container ready because those just go poof, all over the place. Uh, if You can keep them contained but you're going to need a bigger container because they are as light as a feather but they're very tightly packed in there so you will need something bigger to put them in. This then is Embellishment Mousse and this is called Spring Green and that's a really really fresh looking colour and um, that can be used through uh, stencils and also you can paint with it so if you have watered it down. Just remember not to put anything with water back into the container because that would contaminate it. Take some out and add water to it and then dispose of what's left of that. And then we've got some crystal drops and these are red berry and these ones are bubblegum pink and that goes really beautifully with that. So don't forget you can use whatever you like but I'm going to use just some of the things from this along with this star box and I'll be right back in a minute or two. I was doing a step-by-step -step blog post in this set so I just went ahead and did that first of all and then that gave me an idea just to refresh me because it's a little while since I did the magazine commission. So I have a lovely box here, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Water Sprite card is just so so pretty and I'll show you here, I'll sit back a bit so that you don't see me reflected in that but Look at that, water sprite on the inside as well. So the lid is just that slight bit shorter than the sides, there it is. And I've put some, a lovely little strip of water sprite card along there as well. And that just looks so pretty. And I was actually going to go ahead with some holly and put different colours of green, different shades of green and whatnot. I had this on here, but I actually think it looks really, really elegant like that. Now you can see why it's called beveled because the lid is beveled and I have left that, I hope you can see that, but I've left that open the whole way through there and I've put the water sprite card on the inside as well and it looks really, really beautiful. You could actually, if you wanted to make that a bit stronger, you could put acetate or vellum or something on the inside of those, but I like that just the way it is. Anyhow, I'm going to make one now and it'll be slightly different and I actually really love the white background with these colours on top of it. I've used the Red Berries Jewel Drops from that set as well, from that bundle, um, on top of some red card there because that just gives a little bit of dimension and adds to that as well. 
So now I have cut two, two of the smaller stars. So in the set there's an outside star and a smaller one. And you cut two of the smaller one. And this is for the base. So I'm going to do the base first. And then we need to cut six of the sides. So they have two panels each on them. These obviously cut out plain first of all. And then as I was cutting them I popped this little die. And this is a little verso one. So it has no outside edges on it. And I popped that in there and ran it through the die cutting machine, brought it out, I put it on that side and then put it through again. So that's actually quite unlike the other die that is, looks similar here, but this one actually has edges on it. So when you put that through your die cutting machine, you're actually going to get this whole shape here. But if this one, if you want to actually have a piece that cuts out of your die set, you're going to use both of those dies, this one and this one, and that gives that an edge as well. So I have now got these pieces and I want to attach those on here and I've burnished all the score lines and you can see it's really really important to get these ones right into the point and just do that with your little bone folder and now I can go ahead and put these on here. So this pointy bit here goes right into the middle of the point, right in there and then you will bring this up here and make sure that you have this point right on there. Fold that over, tuck that in underneath and then you'll glue the glue tab onto the inside of the next one and carry on the whole way around there. Now I am going to have a pink inside to that one but I didn't want to, to have it as the base. I'm going to use the base then cover that, cover the glue tabs that are on the other side with another white one and then whenever the box is finished I'm going to set a pink one down inside that and you'll be able to see the pink in through these holes and that will be really really lovely. <clears throat> it all glued up now and you can see in through the sides and it's really really beautiful. There are little panels there as well if you really wanted to you could put a little panel on the inside of it of whatever colour you like and that would be really nice but I just want this open effect this time. So whenever you turn this over you'll, you'll see that the glue tabs are all visible from the bottom so that's what you're going to need your second star for and you'll just glue that directly on top there and then the other one that I cut was in this pink and I'm going to add some glue and put that down on the inside. Now for the lid, I have taken this die and I've cut that out six times so that gives me all the sides that I need and then I've taken the little decorative detail die with the pink so that's this little die and I've cut that out for every side and I've glued those all on there and burnished all these score lines. And I can go ahead now and add these, sort of glue them to each other the whole way along here. You can do that or you can just add them as you go along. Now if you have a look at the lid that I did on this one, I've kept the water sprite card on the inside there and you're actually looking down at it. It's flat on the inside of that and then these are clear open right through and I want to do that effect again and let you see how to do it. So I went ahead there then and I glued all these pieces on um, just put them like this with the tabs on the top there and then put another piece on over here. You could just do it the same way as I did the other one there and put the tabs underneath and then put something over the top here. But this is the part of the lid obviously that's going to fit on over here and this is the part that I want to be able to see through to from here. So I have cut out a silver star and I'm sitting back so that it doesn't show my face in the reflection and I am going to glue that on there and that then is the bit that you'll see through the little holes in the next part that I'm going to do. So I'll glue that on now and with silver card I think it causes ripples sometimes on it whenever you put, um, when you can see the, the glue or the glue lines. So I don't want to put any in the centre. I know most of this is going to be covered but I like it right out at the edges because, um, well, 
it just looks better when it's finished. For the beveled part of the, of the lid then I've taken this die and there's a right and left side to the decorative detail on it and I've popped them in there and then you attach them to your card with washi tape or uh, repositionable tape or something obviously it's with the cutting sides down and run that through the die cutting machine and you need six of those and there they are. Now make sure you burnish the this, this score lines really really well on these ones particularly the centre ones because those are the pieces that are going to sit up on the bevel and we've now got six of those and you can see here there are three glue tabs and you want to take the shorter glue tab of them all and attach each one the whole way around like that. In the instructions then at this stage it's telling you to turn this over and add double sided tape onto here. All of these little uh, glue tabs and then you're going to add a die cut onto the back of that and then glue that whole panel onto the top of the box but as you can see I've just done it slightly differently in that I've already got my silver on there and I'm just going to attach this straight on so what I do is add some double sided tape because it really helps it grab very quickly and I don't use a high tack tape I just use the ordinary white one and I run that along all of these edges but because I want to make sure that I have a little bit of manoeuvrability and also longevity in it when I take that off I am actually going to add a dot or two of, uh, of Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive on here I'm not going to cover the whole thing because that would be pointless one would just take away from the other but I'm adding it just to make sure I can slide this around for a second or two and also just to make sure that it's really, really secure in all those areas. I cut the holly from silver and I put some little pink berries on and I'm just going to use a little drop of this uh, bubblegum pink on the top of those berries. Now I'm not going to cover the whole fuchsia pink with them but just put a little dot on each. And there you have it. That's the little box all finished. I really like that one. I wanted to show you the rest of the dies and how to make a flat lid so I've gone ahead with this one. I've already made it up just the way I made the other ones up except that everything's a lot more blocky and plain on this one. So I've made the lid and I have taken these two dies together and you can see them on there. I just taped them together and ran them through and I put them on top of the silver. So that's the silver satin card that's on the actual lid itself and you can see here on the box as well it's on the inside here and then I will go ahead get this back on again I've gone ahead after that and I've used this die in silver again the chrome the brushed one and then I have used this one and this one together in the fuchsia pink and I've backed one onto the other and I've got that up on 3d foam pads there and I'm going to pop that on there and you can see then that I've taken the tiny star and added another little bit of dimension and popped that into the centre of it. It's a totally different kettle of fish. It's nowhere near as fancy, but it's actually really beautiful as well. So I thought I would show you just the different way of using that. Now, if you have enjoyed that, you may actually want to get the set. And if you do, I have lots more ideas, but um, I can't really show you them now because, as I said, they're in the magazine that's coming out. I think it's the 10th of August and it's Die Cutting Essentials number 106 I think. I'll put it on the screen, I'll check it anyway. But there are some beautiful ideas in there. Uh, I was commissioned to do an off the page uh, set of things so there, there aren't any cards. But can you just imagine how beautiful that layering set would be on a card? That would be absolutely beautiful. 
and even that foliage on a card would be beautiful too. So there you are, there's the three that I have made for now and I hope you've enjoyed them. There they are, so we've got the um, clear lid and that you can see right through on both of these and we've got the box here that you can see right through there as well and then a much more blocky, I would say probably a more modern kind of thing on this one here. Um, do do remember to check out that magazine if you get a chance because uh, I'll come back later and put a video on showing you what's on there but it's sort of, no I can't, I can't actually tell you, I should, I would love to tell you what I've done in it but really when it's my magazine commission I have to just leave that and, and let you see at the time or I'll come back and show you the magazine whenever I get a copy but for now anyway that's me finished and I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget if you haven't already subscribed to do that and hit the notification bell and then if you have anything to say, any little comments, leave me those and a thumbs up and if you've enjoyed it of course that is, hopefully you have. I'd love you to come back and see me again and see some more of these videos. There are plenty more for birthday week. I'm not sure which order so I'm not sure if this is the first day or the last day that this is going on. Obviously I'm filming all of this in advance but Anyhow, there's loads and loads to see. Really, really beautiful stuff. It's very exciting to see what, what's all being made. I'll share my affiliate links for all the stuff that I've used down in the link in the description below the video. And it doesn't cost you anything extra, but I do get a little commission from that. So thank you very, very much to everybody who uses those. And in the meantime, happy crafting. Bye bye.